What's up, people? The Internet Time Flip here, and welcome to another uh, flip for this week. Yay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so, um, I discovered uh, streamer.bot uh, last night. I'm like, hmm. No. Like, um, how different is this compared to Phantom Bot and all that? Well, <clears throat> I mean, for one thing, it I I think it actually relies on C Sharp to um it, it, to operate as opposed to um Java on um uh, uh, with uh Phantom Bot. So, and the interface is like the interface is right there when you open up the program it uh, doesn't just activate the bot it also activates an interface where you could customize it on the fly <clears throat> um phantom bot not so much but i feel like uh, being able to be hands on with programming on that is a little bit easier as opposed to um phantom bot but i as opposed to streamer bot but i only just took a glimpse at it and tried it out last night so like i had to program something like when it came to phantom bot um when i had to do my friend code thing um i had to go program i had to actually write up um <clears throat> a javascript javascript for that a javascript file no joke i really had to do that but it was the process was simple. The process was simple enough. It just checks what's the current game title, and then it gives and it outputs um a string a string a string to chat to the to the Twitch chat based on and it's based on the game title, and it's like it's on a switch case um format. Uh, and streamer bot, uh, you don't need to program that, but you have to set up the actions. You have to set up sub actions. You have to, you know, set up the global variables and all that beforehand. You had to like, uh, do the. Then you had to like, uh, set each game up, uh, individually and all that stuff. So it's actually, uh, so there's no programming involved. There's no like actually making pro making programming code um typing out programming code no it's actually to me it seems a little more convoluted <clears throat> but that's just me um i know it has the capability of dealing with c sharp i i've actually not touched c sharp before to be honest um but uh, uh i'm certainly Certainly, it's a learning experience, and I want to see how far I could keep, how far I could take this. However, this bot doesn't seem to be a very good moderation bot. I don't think it has the capabilities to do that. Um, I probably will need an actual moderation bot, like you know. <clears throat> now, see, Phantom Bot was a full moderation bot if you enable its features, so. It had that going for it, um, but you know, there's almost there's also stream elements. There's also Nightbot, Moodbot, whatever. So, anywho, <clears throat> I still don't have a schedule up, but I think I have an idea what to stream this week. The Friday may not be possible though, since I actually have to go stream with no. Since I have to, since I. Since I actually want to uh, hang out with friends because time is, uh, uh, I mean, well, the schedule is only is only lining up for Friday night, so no stream on Friday night. But I'll have, I'll stream on the weekend, obviously. Yeah. Anywho, <clears throat> maybe I'll have a schedule out tonight. Maybe I'm not sure yet. Whatever. I hope you have a good morning or good evening, depending on where you are. This has been iFlip, and I'll see you around. Until then, peace out for now.